because it's as it's called acid sand and if you touch it you'll get burned mum was just playing games with us so we wouldn't mess around in the sand and disturb it but she called it acid sand guys just as a trick to stop us from playing in the sand exactly like this it was it probably even came from out the top So anyway guys, that's what, what it is, it's a true, a Tribute V6 Mazda, a Tribute V6 Mazda, and uh, anyway, those number plates there, what's that, it says 28JJ, is that the same ones that we just got off the, the same number plate impressions, possibly, we'll have a look, so, so it could have been a stolen a stolen vehicle, guys. I might actually just uh, uh, ring Crime Stoppers and just let them know that I found this old vehicle out the Dombey and Rubbish in West Australia. You know, it could be a stolen vehicle. Probably is a stolen vehicle, guys. It's unusual to see a, you know, a Victorian car all the way over here in the Great Southern Region of West Australia. So it's possibly it could be involved in a violent crime or something. So what we'll do now guys is slide a couple of tyres in. We're we'll gonna have to do probably uh, a few trips I reckon. Probably three trips. Six trips. Guys, we'll catch you later. Here we go. All right, guys. So I'm gonna have to do two, maybe three trips back and forward. All right. So now the other reason I came out here for is. Uh, because I want to take photos of this demountable for Dale. Dale might be able to rescue it for his farm for accommodation, restore it. But the main reason I came back for, guys, was for these beautiful old railway sleepers I'm going to make into stairs for the front of my house. So that one there, I'm going to grab, come back and grab that one. And uh, this one right here. And they're in absolutely beautiful condition, guys. So some beautiful stairs I'm going to make. Not these ones here, because all the weights on those ones, but this one here. That one. Exactly what I need, guys. God always provides for me. And uh, I think that's it, guys. We'll have a look inside here, eh? and then I'll come back and take photos of this for Dale. And he might be to pick them up and he's got a the Corrigan flour mill in Corrigan and he might be to restore them for uh, uh, workers accommodation not just at the flour mill but on his farms he's got three farms and he's an expert at restoring things guys and it'd be pretty easy to restore this the whole frames totally intact just a bit of water damage but I can say guys, these farmers are experts, especially Dale, at restoring things. So we'll get in and have a quick look, eh? So 
nice copper here guys look at that beautiful copper there your sink I'm not interested guys too much of a pain to take apart well, that looks like a uh, workers thing is it where you put your card in a uh, clock, clock on clock off thing oh toilets shower The other one, eh? Probably the same. It's a bit different. This looks like an old bedroom. So I'd say they would have been originally all joined together guys, both of those buildings. So this would have been the two bedrooms. And uh, like I say, it's a transportable type house, a mobile home. We don't call them mobile homes in Australia, we just call them transportable houses. guys so i really really appreciate you watching i might even do another video on this just to show dale and i'll upload a separate video and just call it you know waste i don't know if they're restorable guys i reckon they would be but obviously they need whole new you know the frame the framing on the inside or the wooden frame looks perfect just the outside and the inside walls But, you know, you'd be paying probably, what, fifty, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 or something like this brand new, if not more. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, good exercise, I'm going to have to do th three trips. So around probably, you can be walking with a wheelbarrow today, about 8 kilometres. Good exercise, guys. All right, thanks for watching, fellas and girls. Have a beautiful day wherever you're on the world, and uh, we'll get going. Another probably another hour and a half until it starts getting dark, so we should be home by then. See you guys.